thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I apologize for my absence. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what's been going on, but I appreciate your patience and I am so happy to be back uploading on YouTube. This is a super cool glitch here for you. This is the racing gloves with the invisible arms and the glitchy racing jersey with the crew shirt on your female character. I found this glitch on Mr. Glitch's GTA channel as well as with some help from my friend on Instagram, GTA underscore T. Love her, shouted her out plenty of times. Please check for their links in the description, give them some love, show them support, tell them thank you for being awesome and for uploading awesome videos and for testing these glitches as well. So first things first, please check the description if you have any questions about this glitch with all of my other videos, it's the same. Check the description first, you will find the full text tutorial. Also, this glitch cost $100,000, not a cheap glitch. Sorry for those of you that are broke, but this is cool. It might be a little bit exclusive for people that have $100,000. So first thing we need to do here is create an outfit with the racing jersey, the racing gloves. If you are wanting to wear this with joggers or any of like maybe the director mode glitch component bottoms, you do need to save them together before doing this glitch because you won't be able to merge them or add these items onto those bottoms at the end. If you're wanting to wear this just with any purchasable bottoms that you can get at the clothing store, it doesn't really matter what pants or bottoms you're wearing now because you can always change that after we've completed this entire glitch and then wear whatever bottoms you want to with the glitched out racing gloves and the invisible arms on the female character. So after you do have your outfit saved in your closet and you want to head outside, go to online, go to swap character, and we are simply going to swap over to our male character. There is nothing that you need to complete prior to doing this glitch. If you're familiar with the director mode glitch, this is not that glitch. So I know it seems similar at first, but I promise you it's not. It's so much easier than that. We're just swapping for a brief second to complete the rest of the glitch here on the mail. So when you load in as your mail, you're going to start up a mission on your own. I'm going to quickly show you how to start a mission on your own if you're not familiar with that already. Pretty simple, but you just need to go to online. Go down to options, go down to matchmaking, and set that to closed. That will allow you to spawn into missions by yourself and become the host without guessing if you're going to be the host or not. So we're going to go to jobs, play job, rockstar create it, go down to missions, and we're going to start up a titan of a job. You can start any mission, but that's the first one on the list. Easiest to start. So go to confirm settings, hit play, and you will host this job and play it on your own and then you need to head over to any ammunition. It doesn't matter if you spawn by one, just drive over, head inside, we'll start the rest of the glitch. So if you're like me, you're wearing whatever outfit you had when you were doing director mode on your male character, but to simply change that, this is a necessary step, you need to put on something that allows you to wear no top underneath the utility vest. The simplest trick here, and I found this on Mr. Glitch's channel, is to put on any of the suit outfits and then head back over to tops, go to utility vest, and select or purchase any of these utility vests. The black vest does just fine. You'll see you now have no top underneath the utility vest. Now we're going to actually scroll up to overcoat blazers, and we are going to select no top. This gives you a glitchy back, a glitchy arms, everything is invisible here. It looks weird, it looks goofy, but it's what we need to complete this glitch. So we're not going to save this outfit, do not worry about doing that. You just want to make sure that this is what you have on your male character before you go to online and creator to create a race. So go down to create a race, go to land race, and then we're going to just do a few steps here to create this quickly. So go to placement, place your trigger, go to checkpoints, and set a couple of checkpoints. You're just making this race about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 miles long, and then you can also go back to the race details and make this a point to point race that way when you're testing it you're only doing one little lap here. So then go down to test race and then you're simply just going to drive to test the race here. Again if you make it short this doesn't take very long. Obviously I sped it up here because I know no one wants to watch me create a little race. <laughs> so select X on the prompt that asks if you are finished completing the test on your race. Go to online and go back to swap character. Then you're going to switch back over now to your female character and you should still see that little invisible glitchy outfit on the male. When you spawn back in as your female character, make sure you do not make any changes to the outfit. You're simply just going to go into style and then go into change appearance. You can only do this once I believe every 45 minutes 
And a reminder that it does cost $100,000 to change your appearance. So this glitch is not a cheap one, but it is really cool and it looks really nice. So go to style, change appearance, hit X. It's going to tell you that, haha, we're charging you money to do this. <laughs> so then you're going to scroll down to apparel. And at this point, you can select any of the crew tops. So you can select a black one, a white one, whatever your crew color is, you can select that. You can select some that have a trim on them. You can even add a crew emblem to this scoop neck tee on your female here. And you'll see that your arms are now invisible, but you're still wearing the racing gloves. So choose any top that you like. You can go ahead again and add the crew emblem. I'm going to select the black top here because it looks best. And you'll see that the racing jersey glitches through as well. Looks really, really cool and definitely different and glitchy. I really like this glitch here. So save that and then it's going to charge you $100,000. Hit X to accept and then you're going to spawn back into free mode as your female character. You will see when you spawn back in that you do have the glitchy shirt and the racing jersey with invisible arms and the racing gloves, but you are not able to access your closet, a clothing store, anything like that. So the next part of the glitch is very, very, very important if you're actually wanting to save this outfit, to change accessories, to add a duffel bag, or whatever you're going to do to make this outfit more unique and more what you want it to be. So you just need to open up your interaction menu, you want to register as a CEO or as an MC president, and then you're going to go to basically management or whatever members style, and you're going to scroll once to the right, and then once back to left to none. After you do have this completed, this is a very, very, very important step, you're just simply going to close your application. When you do close your application to restart it, there are no special buttons that you have to select. You're not resetting any of your brightness or your targeting or any kind of settings like that. You're just closing and restarting your GTA application. Now when you spawn back in, you'll notice you do not have the outfit on, but a simple solution to that is to again register as a CEO or an MC president. Go to management or member style, scroll, scroll right once and then left once back to none and you'll see the outfit reappears. Now you'll be able to go into your closet or a clothing store and make changes to this outfit. First things first, make sure you're saving this outfit. I will tell you that when you're adding things in the clothing store, the outfit will appear to glitch away when you first go into a section like accessories or shoes or tops or bottoms, but once you actually scroll over the items, it will glitch back on for you. So some of the items you can add with this, you can add kind of the bow scarves, you can add cuffs, you can add bracelets, anything that you can kind of see through. The spiked cuffs looks really cool with this. It looks kind of different and make the gloves look different. So that's what I added to the outfit. You can also add any of the masks, any hats. You can add other accessories. If you do switch the gloves to normal gloves, you'll see that the arms glitch back on and you still get to keep the glitchy top. So that looks really cool as well. If you don't want the racing gloves or you just want kind of the glitchy top here and you don't want like an invisible, <laughs> an invisible neck or invisible chest under this outfit. So that also looks really cool and it's a nice addition to this glitch. It's not simply just invisible arms. I'm not usually a fan of invisible body parts, but I really did think that this looked pretty cool. So I will be posting on Instagram more of my finds with this glitch because there are other shirts that you can glitch with this. Some of them include the business shirt under the boating blazer. It creates a really cool kind of business shirt glitched into the crew shirt. You can also do the business shirts that are under the vest. It also creates a really cool kind of glitchy shirt. The bodysuit works as well, but it creates a whole invisible arm and hand, which is weird, but it looks kind of cool and different. And it pretty much works with any shirt. So any shirt that you're wanting to glitch together with the crew shirt, you can do it using this method. If you're adding or taking away gloves, it might make the arms invisible. It might not make them invisible. You just need to kind of test it out a little bit on your own to see if it's working for you. Obviously, I've done a ton more things. I'll post more pictures on Instagram if you're wanting some inspiration or seeing what kind of items work. I'll also try to post on this video in the description the different types of shirts or outfits that I've tested with this to see if it works, as well as letting you know any cool outfits or finds that I do happen to stumble across, they will pop up on my YouTube channel because I am obviously looking for different ways to utilize this glitch on the female character and the different things that we can do. I will tell you that what I'm working on next hopefully works, and if it does, I'll be uploading a video again here in the next day or two. So thank you guys again so much for stopping by the channel. Please drop a like, leave me some comments, tell me you miss me or tell me you hate me, I don't care, whatever works for you. And please subscribe, we're on the road to 7K. Thank you guys so much.